Cup. Good afternoon, welcome to Thrumhall Halifax, this uh, Stones Bitter Championship, uh, Halifax versus St. Helens, 4th of January 1987. My name's Ron Hoof, I'll be with you for the whole of this match. Halifax kicking off, uh, John Pendlebury, the recent signing from Salford, kicks off deep into St. South, onto Sean, Hall Sean Allen, <coughs> beg your pardon. Saints in possession now, Graeme Lickfrost as ever, bringing the ball right. Number 10 for Saints today. I'll have to give the team changes later as uh, Young Hopkins, uh, recent signing, only last week, and uh, thrown in at the deep end today. Halifax in possession now. Andy Platt and Sean Allen in at the tattle there. Halifax still in possession, just pegged inside their own half. Halifax bring it left. Short ball from uh, Mick Scott. On to Brian Julie in the pack today. On to Chris Anderson. Halifax taking it right. Lovely short ball there. Feeds inside. Saints tackle as well up to it. Bundle him down just inside the half. Anyway, Halifax uh, pegging it back now. Back to number three. Uh, Colin Whitfield. Fielded by Phil Beavers. Fed on to Kevin McCormick. Saints in possession now. Terrible day here at uh, Thrumhall, as you can see. Uh, driving rain and uh, the pitch is in a pretty bad condition to start off with. Anyway, Saints still in possession now. Up to Hopkins, first man in. Unfortunately, the ball must be like a bar of soap today. It goes uh, puts it to ground and Halifax in possession. Out to number 10, Neller. Anderson, he gets the ball out to uh, number 12. Out to Wills George on the wing, but uh, forward pass already been ruled uh, by referee Bowman. Uh, obviously, uh, Halifax didn't know, but the Saints uh, players had seen him indicating a forward pass and uh, stopped. First scrum of this match, Neil Holding to feed. One against the head there. Uh, Number seven, Pendlebury, dipping in there for this ball and coming away with it. Colin Whitfield for Halifax, now in possession. Halifax <laughs> again, they like to uh, quickly play the ball, but uh, good Saints tackling, bundle them down. Pendlebury a bit again. Long ball out to number four, Rick. And solid Saints tackling there, bundle him down. Lots of Halifax pressure now, five yards from Saints line. Halifax bringing it left, loose ball there. I think it was a knock-on. Yes, referee finally ruling it was a knock-on. Saints uh, having already beaten Halifax at Nosey Road this season. A very comfortable margin. 38 uh, points to 16 after giving them a 10-point start. From that uh, second scrum, Saints gaining uh, the first penalty of the match. The touch, fine touch just short of the halfway line. Graham Lickrot, first man, Tony Burke, driving forward, approaching the halfway line. Uh, conditions are very uh, unfavourable today. Some uh, good ball handling, a lot to be done by St. Helens. Unfortunately, we've uh, lost uh, three out of the last four games. Let's hope we get back on winning ways today. Graham Lickrot, short ball on to Neil Holden. Feeds out again to Andy Platt. Back again to Neil Holden, hurrying down this left-hand touch line. Inside, Kevin McCormick. Good bit of Saints attacking, uh, attacking good handling. And uh, Saints on the attack now, 25 yards from Halifax line. Out to Neil Holden again. Up and under, taking off the ball there, uh, Neil Holden, uh, by uh, number eight, uh, Beavers, for Halifax. Uh, this going unnoticed by referee Bowman and the Halifax in possession. Pegged down in their own 25. Unfortunately, we're having a right at the back of the main stand here at Halifax, and we're just uh, getting a bit of difficulty in uh, filming. But uh, Halifax there gaining a penalty. Um, referee Bowman ruling an over exuberant tattle, and a penalty to Halifax. Play the ball now. Halifax checking the ball, driving towards the halfway line. 
The art ball there uh, looked uh, slightly forward. But uh, still Halifax in possession. Running from deep. Number nine, McCallion, takes the action half at position. Halifax second it right. Okay, Sanderson coming across. Number 10, Nella. Feeds out. Loose ball there. Brett Clark obstructed there in his uh, efforts to uh, regain the ball. The loose ball, but uh, finally does so. And the uh, Saints second it left. Graham Littrox tries to dive under the tackle. Andy Platt uh, taking the half back position. Bring it right. Neil Alden, change of direction. Onto this uh, new hat lad, the Hopkins. Littrox again. And uh, Halifax penalised for offside at the play of the ball. Much to the uh, dismay of the Halifax uh, crowd. Uh, they've been shouting for Saints being offside all the match. I think uh, that's all they know at this uh, side of the Perrans. Anyway, Paul Lachlan uh, going to attempt to convert this uh, penalty for offside. Paul Lachlan, top of the uh, goal scoring and at the point scoring charts. This season already kicked 87 goals before today. Saints still at the top of the uh, Storms uh, Bitter Championship, even though uh, lost two in the league. Paul Lockley lines up. Yes. Makes no mistake. Knocks it over. Six minutes gone now of this first half and uh, Paul Lachlan puts Saints into a 2-0 lead. <laughs> Pendlebury, the Halifax scrum half for today, kicks off. Deep kick. Fielded by Sean Allen, takes the ball, drives forward, beats the defence. Good break there from Sean Allen. Saw the chink in the Halifax armour and made it count. Phil Beavers up in the lineup. Brett Clark, short ball onto Andy Platt. Halifax driving forward, uh, Halifax going in there to uh, peg the Saints progress. Raymond Trot. Well, just to ground there. Halifax in possession, just inside. Saints half, over to Scott. Quick ball to Chris Anderson, on to 13. Dixon for Halifax. Chris Anderson now takes the acting half-back position. He certainly makes this side tick, Halli um, Anderson. And a short ball on to uh, Scott, back to Chris Anderson. And then on to forward, uh, number eight, Beavers. Pendlebury there, looking round. Nowhere to pass, uh, finally drops the ball, but Halifax uh, scoop it up, scoop the loose ball. Pendlebury again, long pass out there, taken by wingman uh, Wilson for Halifax. Pendlebury again, coming across field onto Nella. Very boggy in the middle of this uh, from all pitch today. Beavers there, number eight for Halifax, driving forward. McCallion takes the acting half at position, brings it left onto Scott. To change of direction inside. Dixon, I think it is, driving towards Saints now. Brought down into short. Good Halifax break there, but equally good Saints tattling. Halifax there from the play of the ball. Go over for a try. Just to the right of the post. So Halifax now going into the lead, four points to two. Eight minutes of this first half gone so far. Just uh, can't make out who the Halifax scorer was, but we know that uh, Colin Whitfield is there to attempt to convert this try. Well, I've just been told that it's uh, Will George. I know he was over there in the thick of things. I should be able to pick him out, shouldn't I? Uh, out of the uh, Halifax players, but um, 
I know he did come out, he got to come out of the uh, rock there, he got a pat on the back, but it looked as though somebody else was getting congratulations, centre field, but uh, we put that down to George anyway. Colin Whitfield is attempting to convert this uh, George try, having a lot of difficulty uh, getting the ball to stand up. He says it's a very blustery day today. I think he's finally got no, has he yet? He's, uh, he'll have to get somebody to hold this ball. That's about four or five attempts. The uh, referee Bowman, very patient with him. Pendleberry coming up now to hold this ball. As I said, when uh, Saints played Halifax at Nosey Road, we give them a 10 point start with uh, tries from the first half tries from Dixon and Edie uh, with a Whitfield goal that was in the first 10 or 11 minutes. Came back well and uh, they could only reply with a one try and a goal in the second half. Halifax. Yes, anyway, he finally gets that uh, goal over, so Halifax leading at present. Six points to two. Early days yet and uh, a very heavy pitch. Anything could happen today. Neil Olden kicks off. Over to Halifax left wing. Halifax pick up, drive forward, brought down on their own 25 line. Ball is loose. In that tackle, wrenched out of the Halifax player's grip by Andy Platts, I think. Ball still going. Saints in possession, taking it over. Left. Graham Lipchot, as ever, takes the act in our pack position onto Neil Holding. Ball coming across field onto Brett Clark, taken well by Brett Clark. Referee Bowman really in the lock on. I thought Clark had taken that cleanly. It was a rather bad ball for the conditions. But uh, referee Bowman ruling a knock on. So we're scrumming down now midway between the halfway and 25 in Halifax half. Ball comes out state side, taken by Neil Olin onto Steve Halliwell. Neil Olin again, quick play of the ball onto Graham Littrot. Looking for runners. Andy Platt comes steaming up. Just brought down by number 10, Nello for Halifax. Brett Clark again, Graham Littrot, cross for Roy Haggerty, drives into him, feeds on to Paul Loughlin. Wilf George comes in field and bundles Paul Loughlin down. Littrot again, taking it left, Brett Clark, long pass to Neil Olden, beats one, a long pass again to Steve Alliwell, like a bar of soap, unfortunately the ball goes down. We did have a bit of an overlap there, but uh, Steve Alliwell just couldn't take that ball. So it's coming down again, about uh, 30 yards from Halifax line. Pendle ready to feed. Ball comes out with the feed to Halifax. Spreading it left. Halifax man finally bundled to ground. Chris Anderson again, he's the live wire, he makes him tick, takes the active half back position. Halifax coming across field, Barry Ledger sees the danger, goes inside, bundles, uh, looks like Whitfield to me. Yes, Whitfield playing over here on the left wing, uh, bundles him down, Chris Anderson now with the ball. Got some uh, very heavy tackling there, and so he should do. He's the, the danger man, and uh, let's uh, whisper in his ear and let him know what's going on. Uh, Halifax kick up field, Kevin McCormick well positioned, back for the ball. Picks up, drives forward, brought down 20 yards from the halfway line. Just having a bit of difficulty picking the markings out here. Today. Neil Olden feeds on to Tony Burke, pushes one off Tony Burke. Graham Lipshot, as ever. Takes it blind side, over to Neil Olden. Got ball on to Steve Alliwell, hurling down the wing. Gets it out to Kevin McCormick. Just uh, couldn't hold that ball, conditions very uh, difficult today. The ball goes into touch, more or less right on the halfway line. Just 
Come down, Pendlebury feeds, ball comes out straight side, well taken by Neil Holden. Feeds on to Kevin McCormick, coming inside. Just inside Halifax half now. Brett Clark. On to Graham Littrock, cross field, Andy Platt. Tried to pass around the player though, just couldn't uh, get the ball out. It shot again, going blindside. On to Paul Lachlan. Side stepped inside one, but uh, number 12 Scott and uh, Colin McField uh, stop his gallop. Great movement there, Viva's in the lineup. Scooped up by Neil Holding, did well there, Neil Holding, covered up well, and Saints uh, still in possession. Graham Littrock now. Back to Narpak, brings it uh, blindside over to Hopkins, drives forward, looks a big lad this uh, Hopkins only signed uh, last week. Only about 19, but uh, referee Bowman ruled that he has knocked on at that uh, incident. Pendlebury for oh, Halifax to feed this scrum. Well, they certainly did that uh, this time, right in front of the referee. Oh, Halifax in possession. Number 10, Nello was acting half back there. Now it's uh, McCallion. Feeds right onto Scott. Scott, number 12 for Halifax. Uh, another ex Wiganer along with Colin Whitfield. McCallion again. Onto Pendlebury. Change, uh, change movement there. Uh, onto uh, Brian Julith. Another ex Wiganer. McCallion again. Halifax taking it right. On to number 10, Nella for Halifax. Last tap and now Halifax still pegged in their own half. Electing to run it. Taking a long pass there. A long pass out to number two, uh, Scott Wilson. But the ball goes straight into touch. This is definitely a game I would imagine that uh, will have to be played on the wings. Obviously uh, very heavy in the middle. The ball will have to be spread over to the three quarters for Saints to... Uh, her up this touch line is uh, a lot, obviously a lot drier as you can see. Ball coming out Saints side. Neil Oldham feeds on to Brett Clark. Phil Beaver's in the lineup, breaks the defence there, brought down just inside Halifax half. It's coming away now. Paul Lachlan side steps, goes inside. Neil Oldham now. Takes it left to Brett Clark. On to Graham Trot. Change of direction by Littrop, coming over to this right-hand wing. Very boggy, the conditions atrocious in the middle 50 yards of this pitch. Roy Agate takes the acting half, goes on his own, tries to drive through, looking to unload Dixon and uh, Chris Anderson of his grip clamped, can't unload that ball. Graham Littrop again, takes it left. Sean Allen, Rick Clark, long pass out, Andy Platt, but Phil Beaver's in the lineup. Ball finally going out to Beavers. Brilliant ball from Andy Platt. Feeds on to Kevin McCormick on that left hand touch wing. And the referee rules a forward pass. Well, I don't know. That wasn't forward in my opinion, but uh, referee right on the job. The Halifax crowd uh, shouting for a forward pass, which was the pass from Andy Platt to Phil Beavers. But uh, he rules uh, the later pass anyway. Pendlebury to feed the scrum. Ball comes out Saints side. Saints being penalised. At that scrum. Colin Whitfield picks the touch, finds touch right on the halfway line. So it's going to be Halifax ball. 18 minutes of this first half gone so far. And Halifax still in a six points to two lead. Halifax bring it left onto Nello. Well, gets the ball inside, well that was forward but uh, he didn't notice that this time Bowman did he? Chris Anderson now bring it left Halifax forwards there driving into the Saints half approaching Saints 25 line Chris Anderson on to Nella. good tackling there some good solid tackling but he does get the ball out well, Halifax lose the ball there well, it's gone dead. Ball's gone dead there. 25 dropout for Saints as Halifax kicked the ball dead there. He did lose the ball. It uh, never even took the Saints player, but uh, he let player go on. 
Graham Littrop feeds on to Tony Burke. Right in the middle of a mud pile there, Graham Littrop again, bringing it right onto Hopkins. Straightens up, drives forward. It's a bit drier, just over to the wings, as I said, and uh, Hopkins straightened up and decided to do that. Graham Littrop brings it blindside onto Roy Haggerty. Tries to unload there. Colin Whitfield bundles him down. Paul Lachlan. Long kick upfield from Paul Lachlan. Save a lot of running this. But the ball uh, won't run into touch. Very heavy conditions. Taken by number two at Wing of Halifax, Wilson. Bundle down right on the 25 yard line. Steve uh, Halliwell and Brett uh, Clark, I think it is, in at the tackle. Brett Clark in again. It's a good lad, this Clark had a couple of. Uh, Exceptional games lately, very, uh, very well in at the tackle. Anyway, Steve Halliwell there being penalised uh, for offside at the play of the ball, I think. And uh, Colin uh, Whitfield kicks to touch. Just uh, 10 yards short of the halfway line. McCallion feeds on to uh, these now getting unrecognisable Halifax forwards on to Nella pick him out, blondered lad McCallion I think it is Halifax bringing it left short ball there from Dixon on to Scott McCallion again Halifax taking it right, now that's a knock on yes, double knock on that Much coming down midway between the 25 and halfway line in Saints half. Halifax here a couple of seasons ago with a very heavy Australian contingent. I think uh, about 12 or 13 at uh, one spell. Did them a power of good. They uh, all played well. A lot of uh, virtually unknowns, but uh, they played well for Halifax. Anyway, from that uh, scrum, the Saints getting a penalty. Graham Littrop uh, waiting to take it. Finally, plays on to uh, this big lad Hopkins. Upended, uh, drives forward, three or four Halifax Tattlers in to bundle him down. Onto Tony Burke, shoves one out of the road, Tony Burke drives forward, just loses his foot in the Saints approaching Halifax 25 yard line. Graham Littrot takes it blindside. Lovely ball inside to uh, Graham Littrot again. Feeds on to Kevin McCormick, but says bundle down into touch uh, about uh, 10 yards from Halifax try line. Just coming down, as I say, 10 yards from Halifax try line. Got Pendle ready to feed. The ball comes out with the feed. Pendlebury still in possession, drives towards the 25 and he's just pulled down short. And that's again on to Nella. Ball loose, but uh, obviously he's going to wave another six tackles now. And so it's, uh, that was his indication. I no, no, he must have uh, just been saying play on, I don't know what was going on with him. Anything can happen with these referees today. Uh, Halifax still in possession. It's about to Brett Clark, on to Kevin McCormick, down that left hand wing, going inside. Brilliant play for Kevin McCormick, and he's over in the corner. Well, good bit of quick play there by Saints, a loose ball from Halifax. It looked as though it was Roy Haggerty that scooped it up. I just couldn't uh, make out, uh, fed on to Brett Clark. Quick hands was needed, on to uh, Kevin McCormick, and over in the left hand corner he goes. 23 minutes gone of this game so far, and... Uh, Saints now level the score, six points each at present. <laughs> Last year uh, at St Helens, uh, Saints uh, beat Halifax 22 points to 10 in the return fixture, which uh, obviously should have been at Strum Hall due to uh, adverse weather conditions. We ended up playing that headingly. 
and uh, Saints were beaten 27 points to 18 after nearly having them I think it was about 15-12 we came back to and uh, unfortunately they're off the hook uh, we could have just got another score there uh, we'd, have de we'd have definitely done them but uh, Paul Lachlan uh, unsuccessful with that uh, conversion to Kevin McCormick try uh, Kevin McCormick going over for his 11th try of the season so uh, six points each still the score after about 24 minutes Pendlebury it is, uh, scrum half today for Halifax to kick off. Kicks deep, stopped by Steve Halliwell, I think. Some of these players, as uh, I said, getting very unrecognisable from uh, our position. On to Tony Burke. Shrugs one off, but finally brought down by uh, Mick Scott. At uh, the, the fixture at Nosey Road uh, earlier on in the season, uh, Mick Scott ended up uh, breaking his arm. I'm uh, not surprised some of the tattling he was doing. It was uh, rather robust, to uh, say the least. Neil Olden now kicks upfield. <laughs> Halifax in possession, driving forward. Neil Olden follows up, tattles his man <laughs> with Young Hopkins. Halifax bringing it left. Neil Olden again, in at the thick of it. Andy Platt. And Sean Allen, is it? Rickfield now trying to get through, as you can see there. He just uh, had his ankles tapped and he slid another 10 yards. Conditions terrible in the middle. And on to Nella, driving forward. Halifax approaching stage 25. Ball coming back here. And so he's going to kick on to Mick Scott. Short ball on to Dixon. But uh, Paul Lachlan and uh, Sean Allen, I think, stop his gallop. Last tackle now, on to Wilf George. Should be bundled down, they've only got a tackle, uh, this Halifax man, and it's the first changeover. Halifax still in possession. Short ball on to Chris Anderson. Hoist the up and under, Phil Beavers sees the danger. Well positioned, takes the ball. Drives forward, so Saints in possession now, just inside their own 25. Neil Olden from the acting half -back. comes away. Very boggy in the middle, but drives forward, gains a valuable 20 yards for the Saints. Brett Clark taking the acting half back position, bringing it right onto Graham Lip Trot, onto Andy Platt. Rise forward, looking for support, but uh, well tackled, well bundled down on the halfway line. I beg your pardon, mid, mid of the, uh, in between the halfway line and 25 yard line by the Halifax tacklers. Brett Clark, quick from the play of the ball, drives forward, inside, feeds on to Graham Lip Trot. Just Having great difficulty today making these uh, Saints players out on Halifax. Feeds on to Brett Clark. Grubbers for touch. Stopped by Wilf George. Drives forward. Tackle the first man down. Barry Ledger, Paul Lachlan and Roy Agate in at the kill. Whitfield takes the act in half-back position. Drives forward. Andy Platt, Graham Rickdrop, stop his gallop. Wilf George, act in half-back for Halifax. Halifax taking it right, approaching Saints, uh, 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 approaching the halfway line. Pendlebury coming in, right and left. Finally gets the ball out. Halifax just managed to get into Saints half. McCallion, the hooker for Halifax, acting half back. On to Chris Anderson. Halifax taking it midfield. He shrugs out to one, Chris Anderson. But. Uh, Beaver stopped his gallop, Neil Olden on his back there, bundling down, good run there from uh, Anderson and Halifax, last tackle I think it is now, crossfield kick from Whitfield, taken by Kevin McCormick, but uh, bundled into touch on that right hand side, on that left hand side, right as I'm looking at it here, but uh, Kevin McCormick is the left wing, not much chance there of keeping your feet with uh, three, two or three Halifax tacklers, round you and bundle him straight into touch anyway we're scrumming down just inside Saints 25 ball coming out Saints side Neil Olden feeds on to Brett Clark long pass from Brett Clark quick hands here that's the way on to Paul Lockley feeds on to Barry Ledger taken well by Ledger down this right hand touch with steps inside Ledger still going but he's been brought back for a forward pass well brilliant work there by Barry Ledger stepped out of the tackle easy as anything this Halifax uh, right wing, left wing for them, 
uh, Whitfield and George were sunk there but being brought back for a forward pass well, that would have been uh, a good try there there's no danger half an hour gone with this game so far and Barry Ledger would Barry Ledger have been in there well that's feeding by Pendlebury but the referee lets it go Chris Anderson feeding out Halifax in possession Smith the full back for Halifax in the lineup out to George over there picked him out this time he's lo looking for work hungry for work George was fancy his chance of getting over for another try Halifax still in possession bringing it left looks like Nella forced back Goodson telling Taflin to bundle him down Halifax again bringing it left 10 yards 15 yards from the Saints try line Halifax still in possession Smith comes up and uh, knocks on for his trouble so was coming down about 15 yards now from Saints try line Neil Olin to feed this scrum. I think uh, referee will have to keep the bowman and have to keep an eye on this Pendlebury anyway. He looks offside at the play of the ball, but the ball coming out with the feed. Pendlebury tattles Neil Holden. Brett Clark feeds inside. Hopkins. This uh, young 19-year-old forward for Saints having his debut today. As I said before, only signed last week. On to Graham Lipchop. Over to Roy Haggerty. We'll take him on Roy Agate. No way through for him. Conditions very heavy underfoot. <laughs> Roy Agate finally able to uh, get on his feet to play the ball. And Saints take the ball over to that left hand side. Neil Olden back to Paul Lachlan. Obviously, kick upfield. Good kick from Paul Lachlan, but uh, Wilson, winger for Halifax, well positioned, but Saints tackles well up on him, that's the idea. If uh, Lachlan's going to kick uh, far position, well, they've got to get up there and bundle them down in their own half. They're just uh, in. Halifax uh, storming through. Number one, Smith goes over under the sticks. Just caught the Saints off, and uh, we had him pegged down on the halfway line. And Smith came up in the line, took a short ball, and uh, went under the sticks on a post. 32 minutes of this game gone so far, and Halifax regained the lead. Whitfield now shouldn't have any trouble with this conversion. Yes, he slots it over there. So Halifax go 12-6 into the lead now. That's individual try there by Smith. To restart now, Neil Olden restarts, kicks deep into Halifax half. Have to uh, peg this Halifax back in their own half now. Uh, with Halifax still driving towards say, the halfway line. And again, so solid tackling there, Andy Platt. Good tackler, Andy Platt. In with the shoulder and bangs him down. Halifax bringing it left onto Neller. Brought down just short of the halfway line. Andy Platt in there again with uh, Hopkins. Bundles him down. Over to this left hand wing. Short ball inside. Julie, flying Julie. Brilliant work there by uh, Paul Lachlan. Uh, just tapped his ankles. Stopped his gallop any further. But Halifax taking it right. Forward pass there onto Whitfield. Going unnoticed again. But the ball going outside to Winger Wilson. Finally bundled down, just 10 yards inside Saints half. It's the last half of an hour. This sequence is six. Halifax man kicks forward. Taken there by Steve Halliwell, I think. Fed on to Phil Beavers. 
and Saints back in possession we'll have to drive forward now get into this Halifax half and get points on the board before half time if at all possible Tony Burke now in possession Graham Lipchot as ever Back the acting half back feeds on to Andy Platt Andy Platt coming cross field tries to duck under the defence but uh, no way through for him solid tackling today from both sides Graham Lipchot feeds on on to Roy Haggerty down this right hand touch line Roy Haggerty half a chance of a break and uh, Haggerty will be through Lip trot again, coming blindside, onto Paul Lockley, onto Barry Ledger, kicks forward Barry Ledger, over the defence, Chris Anderson uh, going to scoop up, just uh, hope he got an awkward bounce there, but there's not much bounce in this field today, and to Smith, pull back for Halifax to try score of there, but uh, Barry Ledger in, bundles him down, Halifax now taking it right, Smith for Halifax down there in, uh, in that tackle, but Halifax still in possession, driving towards the halfway line. About five minutes of this first half remaining. Halifax still in possession, short ball on Tonella, looking to unload to uh, Mick Scott. Working the loop there, this is the last tackle. On to Dixon, chip kick through, well taken, well positioned there. Looks like Sean Allen, I think. Yes, it was uh, Sean Allen to uh, Saints and Neil Olden on to Brett Clark. Change of direction. Halifax Sattler as well up to him. Saints bring it right. Short ball from Neil Olden on to Tony Burke. <coughs> Halifax forward is not tattling forward, not allowing Saints to release this ball. On to Graham Trot loop movement. On to Young Hopkins driving through. Saints again, taking it right. Neil Olden, sharp ball there. Whitfield goes down for an interception, but he knocks on. So the idea was right there if it had come off, this would have been brilliant. But uh, Whitfield uh, just getting his fingers to it, putting it to ground. So we're scrumming down just five yards inside. Saints half now. Neil Olden to feed this scrum. Ball coming out with the feed, Neil Olden, Barry Ledger going inside. <laughs> Brett Clark, Saints second it left, Neil Olden. On to Sean Allen, shrugs one off, looking to unload to Andy Platt, but uh, finally bundled down just short of the halfway line. Neil Olden again, Saints bringing it right. Graham Liptrot, quick hands here, Paul Lachlan. Flex the dummy, goes inside. Roy Agassi coming on the inside, but just couldn't get the ball out uh, there. It's again, line side. Graham Littrot on to Roy Agassi. Tries to feed onto Barry Ledger. Well, three minutes left of this uh, first half remaining. Saints so second it left. Just managing to get into Halifax half now. Andy Platt in possession. Last tackle now. Over to Phil Beavers in the lineup. Grubbers for touch. A fine touch. Midway between the halfway and 25 in Halifax half. Halifax still 12 points to six in the lead. Pendlebury to feed the scrum. Going with the feed as ever. Smith up in the line out again. Uh, Phil Beavers, his opposite number, bundles him down. Looks <laughs> like Neller in possession, feeds inside. Ball goes down, Saints, uh, I thought Saints had fell on it there, but uh, the ball goes loose, referee ruling in on conditions as I've said before very bad in the centre of this field we took like uh, over at St Helens as we've had uh, torrential rain from late on but anyway holding to feed ball comes out Saints side Paul Lachlan coming inside brought down just short of the halfway line Brett Clark takes it left onto Neil Holding onto Steve Halliwell Halifax defence holds onto him very well 
States again, bringing it right. Brett Clark onto Tony Burke. Driving through Tony Burke. Looked like penetrating this Halifax defence on uh, a few occasions, but just been unlucky. States keeping the ball moving. Inside to Brett Clark. Onto Hopkins. Oh, beg your pardon, Andy Platt. Hopkins there in support with him. But uh, Sean Allen now, think, taking the acting half back position. Here he is, onto this big lad, Hopkins now, straightens up, drives forward, brilliantly onto Sean Allen there, inside to Brett Clark, shoves the tackle off, going forward, midfield, Brett Clark, still going, Brett Clark, got him good. Well, he's lost that ball, he's, yes, Saints, Saints have wanted to try there, brilliant backing up there by Saints, resulting in Roy Haggerty, I think it is, going over. Well, good play there by Clark. Very elusive, this uh, Western Suburbs half-back. Did well there. Shrugged off three or four Halifax defenders there. And uh, Roy Haggerty, I think it is, finally goes over just to the left of the post. And that's uh, Roy Haggerty's 100th try of his career. And uh, a good milestone for Roy. That's uh, Roy Haggerty's ninth try of the season, and it uh, couldn't come at a, at a better time for our Saints. Well, Lachlan lines up. Yes, and he converts it there. So uh, 12 points each, all on half time now. As I was saying, there, yeah, not much wrong with my timekeeping, is there? Uh, right on the halfway mark there, and Saints just level it up. So uh, 12 points each um, at half time. Back here with you at Crum Hall. A change of strip for both teams. Saints in uh, an old strip. The last strip, obviously, before the St Helens Glass sponsored strip. And uh, Neil Olin kicks off, uh, fielded by Wilf George. <laughs> Halifax just driving out of their own 25. Sean Allen and Andy Platt take him down. Halifax now taking it back, McCallion back to Whitfield, picks up field, I think with the, a slight wind, if there is uh, any wind and a, a siding kick there from Whitfield, bouncing badly, nothing Barry Ledger could do about it and it goes into touch. Yes, it is definitely driving that way, the wind, away from the scoreboard. Neil Olin to feed, ball comes out, Saints half. Neil Olin passes it out to Brett Clark, quick hands needed there. Referee Bowman ruling, the ball's all right and Saints still in possession. Paul Loughlin striding forward, looks to one low to uh, Steve Alliwell coming in field. Saints still in possession now. Taking it right, Andy Platt on to Neil Olin. And ball out to Barry Ledger, well taken by Barry Ledger. Saints keep it going, in field. Andy Platt, short ball, onto Brett Clark again, onto Tony Burke, takes the tackle, drives forward, tries to unload, just uh, couldn't get shut of that ball then. Graham Liptrop back to uh, Hopkins, this uh, junior signed, as I said last week, from Oldham St Towns. Graham Liptrop bringing it right, Sean Allen, taking the loose forward roll for today. Brought down just short of the halfway line, last tackle now of this sequence of six. Brett Clark, onto Neil Olden, Grubbers cross field. Well, that's a very high grubber. Finds touch, yes, brilliant kick there from Neil Olden. Finding touch, uh, 15 yards from Halifax line. Well, that saved a lot of running that on these uh, very heavy conditions. Let's just hope... Uh, we can uh, get the feed here, but Pendlebury to feed for Halifax. But the ball comes out Saints side. Kevin McCormick coming inside. Oh, beg your pardon. Barry Ledger coming inside. Apologies, Barry. And uh, Neil Holding now. On to Roy Agate. Short ball onto Phil Beavers in the lineup. Saints still in possession. Neil Holding there. Ten yards from Halifax try line. Graham Liptrop now, going to bring this ball left to Neil Olden. Oh, 
He jumped a big uh, Hopkins uh, deal all in. Tries a drop goal, yes, and gets that valuable one point. So Saints go into the lead now. After only three minutes of this second half with a Neil Holding drop goal. That's the idea with conditions like this, get down at their end. Every point counts. Uh, they definitely prove valuable in the end and Neil Holding slots over a drop goal. his second drop goal of this season and Halifax kick off while Lachlan takes the ball drives towards the 25 and he's pulled down right on the 25 Graham Littrop uh, the acting halfback Tony Burke first receiver drugs one off but some good solid tackling uh, McCallion and I just can't make out who the other Halifax tattler is but Neil Olden tries to drop under the tattlers there nearly got away there Neil Olden Lightning speed from the break, but uh, I'll have a bit of difficulty today under these conditions. Referee Bowman urging the Halifax side to get onside, but he's only pointing and not penalising. As you can see there, he was uh, well offside. Smith now, full back for Halifax. Slugs one off, drives through, couldn't get past uh, Brett Clark. Brilliantly tackled there. Quick play the ball, looks like uh, number eight at Beavers. An amazing turn of speed there. And Halifax on Saints 25, driving forward. Scott feeds out to Ricks, this uh, number four for Halifax. Andy Platt and Steve Alliwell stop his gallop. 20 yards now from Saints line, Halifax on the attack. Just uh, being a bit obstructed here by this uh, stanchion. But Pendlebury feeds on while the ball's loose. Halifax still in possession. Last tackle now. Will Halifax attempt to drop goal? Will they go for the try? Halifax to play it right. Beavers kicks cross field. Kevin McCormick kicks it dead. Obviously, a plan move by Halifax there, but uh, coming to no fruition. It's a drop out from under the post. Four Saints. Neil Holding keeps it low. Fielded by Beavers, this prop, but uh, no way through for him. The good solid Saints tackle him, bundle him down. I think that was Sean Allen round the legs. Uh, stopped his gallop. George, though, in possession. Halifax driving towards Saints line again. Saints defence uh, a lot on here to keep him out, but. Uh, Halifax driving forward, coming across midfield, being pegged back by this solid safe defence today onto McCallion. Is he going to be held up? He's held up just short of the try line. Halifax taking it left, looking for the way through. I think that's the last tackle now. Lost the ball, balls in Saints possession. Obviously, like a block of soap. For these conditions, but uh, Saints come away. Graham Lipchop, blind side, characteristic for Graham Lipchop, blind side. So many tries have come from uh, Graham Lipchop's uh, efforts down the blind side this season. Saints trying to drive out of their own 25 yard area now. Brett Clark taking the acting half back, bringing it left onto this uh, big lad Hopkins. <coughs> Having a good solid game today, you can't uh, say anything else about him. He's, uh, in the adverse conditions. Long ball from Neil Olden. Out to Paul Lachlan. On to Barry Ledger. Looking for uh, space. Barry Ledger. Obviously uh, get a bit more pulled on his studs down that touch line. But last tackle now. Neil Holden. Rubbers for touch. Good kick uh, from Neil. Finds touch right on the halfway line. Seven and a half minutes gone of this uh, second half and Saints just edging the way into uh, the lead with a third minute to Neil Olden drop goal. Ball coming out Saints side I think there. Neil Olden uh, foraging him for it but uh, the referee not happy with the scrum. Rules another scrum down. 
They all interfered yet again, right on the halfway line. Ball coming out Halifax side, I think. Well, the referee not happy with that now. We're going to have a go again. See if we can be third time lucky. Yes, I think that's uh, Saints in possession. Did well there. Yes, Saints are in possession. Ball coming out. Brett Clark, crossfield. Phil Beavers in the lineup. Quick hands. On to Steve Halliwell. Well taken there by Halliwell. Did well to reach out for that ball. Halifax defence quickly up onto the Saints attack. Ball Lachlan. Takes the acting half back. Drives forward. As you can see, conditions atrocious. Sliding there. Brett Clark feeds on to Tony Burke. Approaching the halfway line. Change of direction, Brett Clark. On to Neil Alden. Finally gets the ball out to Brett Clark, but uh, Whitfield, I think it is, or is it Dixon? Right up onto him, give him no room to move at all. Bill Beavers up in the line, takes the acting half back, feeds on to Neil Alden. On to Andy Platt, on to Paul Lachlan. Coming inside, Paul Lachlan. Gets the ball to Phil Beavers, to Neil Alden. Taking it over there to that right hand wing, on to Barry Ledger. The linesman's on in the middle there, the ball's up in the air. But uh, Halifax in possession, the linesman's on, I think it's for uh, an offence there, there's a Saints player actually down on the deck, just in Halifax half. The linesman uh, reporting to the referee. <laughs> Not sure though, Halifax player is going to be brought out by referee Bowman. Yes, uh, Pendlebury, I think it is. <laughs> Just laying off the ball in the there, but uh, the line's on. Had no hesitation coming in, and it's going to be a penalty to Saints. Kicks up field, gains valuable yardage for Saints. Very hard work today on these atrocious playing conditions. I think it may have stopped raining. Now we just uh, can't see any uh, swirling spray or anything. It's been really bad uh, coming over the Pennines today. Anyway, Saints driving forward onto Hopkins, looking for the way through. Graham Luttrop takes the acting half back position. Gonna bring this ball, short ball onto Andy Platt. 25 yards now from this Halifax try line. Can Saints make it count? Let's trot again, bring it left. Roy Agatey, midfield, pens one off, looks to one low, finally does so. Over to Brett Clark. Good player, this Brett Clark. Not the biggest of fellas, but uh, gets to do an enormous amount of work. Graham Lipchot, over to Neil Olden. Rubbish for the corner, ball comes back, six tackles again. Neil Olden feeds out. Calm it down, Saints now. On to Roy Haggerty, on to Brett Clark again. Saints second it right. Can Brett Clark just touch it? Feeds inside and over for a try to the right of the poster. Brilliant ball from Brett Clark. Inside to Andy Platt. I think it is. And Andy Platt goes over just the right of the poster. Brilliant play there. Platt over for his eighth try of the season. And the Saints go further into the lead now by uh, 17 points to 12 only 12 minutes of the second half. A brilliant work again there by Saints. Uh, Neil Olding trying to kick through over here on this left hand uh, touch line. The ball rebounding off Halifax player. The tackle's being wiped off. Saints taking it over to the right hand wing without any further tackles and uh, Great work by Brett Clark. Ferret in through. Feeds on to Andy Platt. I don't know how he got that ball out. And Andy Platt scores to the right of the post. Paul Lachlan makes no mistake with that conversion. And Saints going to a 19 points to 12 lead.
Barkley and Nurse Lotz's 90th goal of the season up. Halifax kick off, taken by Sean Allen. Picks the ball up, drives forward now. Saints hoping to capitalise on this lead now. They've worked hard today as they have to having uh, two losses over the holiday period. Got to get back into winning ways today. Graham McTrot, taking it blindside. On to Hopkins, steaming up at uh, first receiver. Good, uh, strong lad, this Hopkins. Uh, had a good game today. Saints taking it over there to the right-hand wing. Carl Lachlan acting half back, ball coming back, yes, good decision there by the referee. On to Roy Haggerty, feeds inside to Tony Burke, I think. No, I beg your pardon, it's not Tony Burke. Just couldn't see who'd gone down with that ball anyway. Neil Holding, rubbers for touch. On to Wolf George, that was a knock on. Yes, definitely a knock on there, much to the dismay of the Halifax crowd. But uh, it hit him full on the, on the hands, that, and uh, knocked on. Scrum down midway between the halfway and 25 yard line in Halifax half. He'll all into feed. As it, uh, I think the ball comes out, Halifax side. Loose ball, and. Uh, Halifax being penalised for a little over exuberant play at that uh, tackle. Well, a referee ruling uh, that uh, something was said there, uh, either to him or about him at that incident, and uh, Saints awarded a penalty. Fall Lachlan kicks for touch, finds touch right on the 25 yard line. Saints in a good attacking position here now. Six tackles, 25 yards from Halifax try line to make it count. Graham Lip drops onto Tony Burke, first receiver. Down with the shoulder, drives through Tony Burke. But the Halifax tackling has been uh, very good today. Graham Lip trot again onto Roy Agate, lurking down that right hand wing. Just to break the tackle, but finally brought down, inches short of this Halifax try line. Barry Ledger. Tirapak brings it left onto uh, Graham Littrot, tries to duck under the tattle. Saints are coming midfield now. Obviously, uh, another three tattles now to try and pierce this defence. Gaining valuable yardage there, Saints. Graham Littrot again, bringing it left. Onto Neil Holding, short ball onto Andy Platt. Middle field now, last uh, tattle. And we're going to see another drop goal now. Got to make it count while we're down at this end. We're going to elect. Ball coming back, Brett Clark trying to kick uh, through there, but uh, a judge to have knocked on but to the pleasure of the Halifax contingent here today. Perhaps we'll let him off with that, but uh, just coming down just inside Halifax 25. Pendlebury to feed. Pendlebury didn't retire, and Neil holding in like a shot there, but uh, the referee Bowman ruling uh, that. Uh, the scrum had collapsed and he's not happy with that, so we're going to start again. And everybody again to feed, well, definitely fed that, but uh, the ball came back. Feed on to Chris Anderson, Brett Clark and Phil Beavers up in the line up there, stoppage gallop, no way through. And it looks like Smith, is it the full back, having a good game for Halifax today? No, it's not Smith. Dixon, uh, Whitfield, Whitfield. Finally got it right. But well, Halifax still in possession, approaching uh, the halfway line onto Neller. This big prop forward for Halifax, looking to unload. Finally brought down just inside Saints half. Obviously, a strong customer, this Neller. And Halifax uh, trying to make inroads into Saints half. Last tackle now. Halifax just gaining possession, uh, just gaining uh, valuable yardage into Saints half and taking it uh, over there. Uh, Chris Anderson kicking through, the ball going into touch off a Saints player. So we're scrumming down midway between halfway and 25 yard line. In Saints half. Pendlebury to feed. Ball coming out with the feed. The catch bringing it right. Smith, uh, I think it is, linking up well with the attack. Wilf George coming inside for some action. Oh, it was Whitfield again. George in possession now. Approaching Saints, 25-yard line. Chris Anderson taking the acting half back. 
onto these big Halifax forwards trying to drive forward good tackling Steve Halliwell Tony bit Burke in there bundle him down onto McScott short ball there onto Julie still going Julie brought down 10 yards short of six try line and a penalty to Halifax there for uh, allegedly holding down at the play of the ball Uh, Whitfield electing to go for the penalty conversion hoping to peg this Saints lead back Saints with a seven point lead down here at uh, the dugout uh, Mark Bailey just stripping off now Colin Whitfield lining up to attempt this penalty conversion. Saints uh, trying to make a substitute here. Uh, obviously trying to attract the referee's attention. Uh, substituting uh, Mark Bailey for Phil Vivas. I would imagine this will be uh, Paul Lachlan uh, dropping back to uh, the full-back position. the remainder of this game nearly halfway through this uh, second half and the Saints leading at present 19 points to 12 Colin Whitfield lining up for this penalty conversion the ball falls over again the referee giving him uh, one more chance to position this ball Ones who thought he'd had uh, much trouble holding it up uh, in this weather, but uh, he's trying again now. Yes, slots it between the sticks. So Halifax uh, take a bit of the deficit back, 19 points to 14. Saints still in the lead. finally make the substitution now as I said Paul Lachlan assuming the full back position uh, Mark Bailey over here on the left hand wing and uh, Kevin McCormick uh, going centre to Barry Ledger so I should imagine we get the ball on that right hand wing there'll be uh, some fireworks there with two speed merchants over there on that right hand wing George Plays the ball for Halifax. Halifax driving towards the halfway line. Into Chris Anderson. Short ball onto Nella. I think no, Mick Scott inside to Nella. <coughs> Whitfield kicks through. Paul Lockley well positioned. Takes the ball. Drive forward. Whitfield comes up to. Attempt to tackle his man, uh, Lachlan evades his tattle, but it's brought down by two uh, Halifax tattlers just short of the halfway line. Graham McTrot again. Over here to Neil Olin, short ball, onto Mark Bailey, first touch of the ball, down this left hand touch with line. Does well there, Bailey keeps inside, shrugs one tattler off uh, Ricks, but finally brought down by Wilson. Neil Olin again, feeds onto Brett Clark, loop movement, onto Sean Allen. Side steps, tries to come inside. Oh, Halifax uh, defence bundles him down. Last tackle now of this sequence of six. And Graham Lutrop takes it right. Brett Clark, rubbers far touch. Good kick there from Brett Clark. Saw the gap uh, with George. Couldn't uh, get to that ball. In fact, he didn't make any forward movement. The ball was into touch on the 25. 25 from yards from uh, Halifax line. Pendlebury to feed this scrum. Let's hope we can get a good heel here and uh, attack this Halifax line. Straight at the uh, scrum down, Graham Lipchot being penalised by the referee in the scrum. Halifax <laughs> hit for touch, fine touch, ten yards short of the halfway line. Halifax in possession.
McCallion attempting to resume. Feeds on and Halifax bring it right. Chris Anderson, short ball onto Nello. McCallion again, taking it to left. Look, looks as though he'd lost the ball there in that tackle, but uh, must have grabbed it back. And Halifax now bringing it right. Chris Anderson, ball onto Julif, lurking here. Gets the ball out to fullback Smith. The ball still loose. That's uh, a forward. That ball has come forward there. That was a mile forward. And uh, referee ruling it on, giving him another six tackles. Ball onto Chris Anderson. Brought down just short of the halfway line. Well, that was a blatant uh, knock on or forward or whatever you want to say. But Halifax still in possession. Short ball, fullback Smith linking up uh, well. Uh, and Halifax still in possession. Taking it left. Good solid Saints tackling, bundled him down as he just uh, gains ground into Saints half. Loose ball there, Saints uh, drop on it. Good solid tackling there by Saints on the Halifax uh, defender, uh, attacker. Thank you, pardon. Got the ball out of his grip, grasp, and uh, Tony Burke in possession for Saints now. Approaching the halfway line, Graham McTrot on to Hopkins. Straightens up, drives forward. But trot again, goes blindside onto Roy Haggerty. Shrugs one off, brought down just short of the halfway line. Well, they couldn't actually get him to ground. Good strong lad, this uh, Roy Haggerty. And Saints now bring it left. Graham trot, outrageous dummy, two outrageous dummy. Inside to Barry Ledger. Feeds onto the supporting Paul Lachlan and Saints on the attack on to Neil Olin. Quick ball to Mark Bailey. He goes inside, sees his way, is blocked over here. Brilliant work there by Saints. This is the last tackle now. Good siding run by Barry Ledger over to Neil Olin. Attempts another drop goal. Looks good to me. It's the post. Can Saints regain possession? No, Halifax drops on it. Unlucky there, Neil Olin. Would have given us that six point cushion again. But Halifax in possession, pegged in their own 25. About a quarter of an hour of this game remaining, and Saints in a 19 points to 14 lead. Another score valuable for the Saints now. Halifax change of direction onto Julif. Driving forward, but uh, the Saints tackling this half uh, from strength to strength. Halifax uh, only scored a good field penalty goal. Last tackle now of this uh, six, and Halifax still pegged down in their own half. On to Chris Anderson, it's crossfield, Paul Lachlan. Let's it bounce, makes no mistake. Bad conditions here, but Paul Lachlan picks up, drives forward, pens one off, drives over the 25, and takes uh, still in possession. Mark Bailey taking the acting half back position. He likes to go on his own. Uh, Halifax uh, players there, all offside, uh, not uh, being ruled so by referee Bowman. Graham Mitchell coming blindside onto Tony Burke, I think it is. Having a bit of difficulty now in uh, identifying these players. Blindside, Roy Haggerty lurking inside. Feeds onto Mark Bailey, unfortunately, the ball goes into touch. Does a storming uh, runs down this blind side here. Roy Haggerty, the short ball there, takes him on, unloads him out barely, but unfortunately he just couldn't uh, take the pass. It's coming down just 10 yards inside. Uh, Saints half now. <laughs> Halifax player down. Injured in that tackle there when Roy Haggerty stormed through. Uh, Alex Murphy there, Saints coach, being uh, given plenty of clog by this Halifax crowd. As we know, uh, Alex doesn't mince his words and uh, people don't like uh, what he has to say. He's straight and that's it. Well, Pendleberry fed that scrum. The ball went in the second row and Saints being penalised four feet up inconsistent referee in this season by these referees but Halifax get the penalty Whitfield kicks for touch
play the ball, Halifax now right on the 25, 25 yards from Saints try line, Halifax in possession, McKellion first on to uh, number eight, Beavers loses the ball, Neil Olding scoops up, Saints on the attack, short ball there onto Graham Littrop, that is it Andy Platt. Anyway, Saints taking it right, Steve Alliwell over there looking for work. Saints in possession, driving towards the halfway line. Brett Clark onto Tony Burke. No way without his legs. Halifax players have his legs. Brett Clark again. Saints bringing it back. Onto Graham Littrop, onto Roy Agassi. Fends one off. Back to Mark Bailey. Scoops up well, Mark Bailey. to Paul Lachlan unloads the ball to Brett Clark rubbers crossfield George coming in can he gather the ball does so well tackled uh, by Barry Ledger and uh, Kevin McCormick but Halifax in possession just inside Saints half just 10 minutes left to this uh, game here at Thrum Hall and Saints leading 19 points to 14. Halifax in possession. Brought down right on the 25. Over to Chris Anderson. Scott looking inside to Dixon. Finally bundled down Dixon. This is the last tackle now of this uh, set of six. And Halifax bringing it right. On to Chris Anderson. Short ball on to Julif. Unloads inside to Smith in the lineup. Kicks through. Saints in possession now, Paul Lachlan was going to scoop that ball up, but uh, Andy Platt went back, took the loose ball, and uh, Saints in possession. Unfortunately pegged down in their own 25, rather robust tackle there on Paul Lachlan, but Saints driving forward. Got to move this ball out, across the line, he'll hold in. Loading up the acting half back position back to Paul Lachlan. Going to kick this ball upfield over to this right hand. Uh, Halifax winger Wilson. Mark Bailey takes him with the aid of Steve Halliwell. McCallion there. Well tackled there. Mark Bailey playing well here. Substitute forward, uh, substitute back for today on this uh, left hand wing. Steve Alliwell there got a knock as uh, the Halifax attack was going through. On to Chris Anderson. Halifax second it left. Forward pass there, but uh, going unnoticed by the referee. George up there in the middle of the field. And Halifax on the attack. Plays it to himself, George. Has he scored? No, he's not scored. Brought down short of the try line. Obviously a fame favourite with the Halifax crowd. Whitfield, is he going in? Brought down short. Well, third players protesting and uh, a little, I don't know if it's a skirmish or a just jubilation, but Colin Whitfield, I think it is, goes over to the right of the post there. 31 minutes of this second half gone and uh, Halifax there, peg a little bit of the uh, Saints lead back. Uh, 18 points now to Halifax, 19 to Saints. <laughs> Colin Whitfield now attempting to convert his own try. I don't wish him any harm, but I hope he slices it. My unbiased view. Anyway, he's here lining up. Right between the sticks. So Halifax now 20, Saints 19, with about uh, nine minutes of this game remaining. <laughs> Neil Olin now. Cross field over to that George Wing.
obviously Halifax with the tails up now Saints defence will have to hold out and uh, regain this ball and attack this Halifax try line Halifax now bringing it right still pegged down in their own half three tackles gone change of direction on to Nella brought down on the halfway line Touch judge on there, obviously, for something we couldn't see here. We uh, the same side as the referee. The referee didn't see anything, but the touch judge did. And a penalty to Halifax for uh, the referee's indication, throwing a punch. Field, kicks for touch, finds touch, short of the 25, but uh, Halifax in possession now. <laughs> Approaching Saints 25, brought down right on the 25, feeds on to Nella, driving forward. Saints defence holds out. This Anderson takes the acting half back position, takes it himself inside left, has the runners, looks like Brian Julie. Tries to unload, but can't get the ball out. Ten yards now from Saints' try line. Solid Saints defence. Tatlin holds them out there. Held up. Well, he's uh, gone over the try line, but he's held up on his back. So it's going to be a five-yard scrum. coming back from a, a 19 points to 12 deficit to be winning now by uh, 20 points to 19 five yard scrum now he's holding to feed ball coming out with the feed he's loading scoops up drives forward unfortunately it sits at the wrong end of the field but uh, we can soon alter that onto Brett Clark inside to Sean Allen midfield now just Trying to get out of their own 25. Oh, Halifax there lying well offside, not being penalised by referee Bowman. Long ball out to Barry Ledger. Tries to shrug them off Ledger, but uh, the Halifax defence is in there very quickly. As I say, they're bound to be in quickly, they're lying offside, aren't they? But Saints bringing it left. Yes, brilliant pass from Andy Platt there. On to Roy Agassi, over here to Steve Halliwell, on his own Steve Halliwell, that barely goes inside, still going, Steve Halliwell, and he's still on his feet, brilliant work there by the six, quick play the ball now, all this Halifax contingent offside, on to Mark Bailey, on to uh, Brett Clark, cross field, knee loading, long ball out, well taken by Kevin McCormick, over there, this is dangerous, Kevin McCormick siding through, good solid tackle there from Halifax, Stops his gallop, but Saints are at the right end now. I think this is the last tackle. Brett Clark, little chip kick through, a little inferred, but uh, Halifax gather the ball, 10 yards from their own try line, and it's up to Saints now. Get in there, tackle him, peg him back. Well, he's knocked on, had to play the ball there. It would have been in Halifax's interest to uh, settle it down there, but uh, obviously, Knocked on, uh, ideal chance for Saints now to make it count. Three minutes of this game remaining, Neil Olin to feed. Ball comes out straight side, Neil Olin taking it on his own. Long pass out to uh, Barry Ledger, does well to get that ball, Barry Ledger. Feeds on to Kevin McCormick, turns round, looking for the line. Going towards the line, Saints still in possession now, another five tackles to make it count. Going to settle it down there, Tony Burke. Finally bundled down. Saints on the attack. Over to Brett Clark. Crossfield inside to Andy Platt. Had a good game today, Platt. Feeds on. Roy Agatti scoops up. Saints still in possession. Brett Clark takes the act in half back position. No. Roy Agatti plays it to himself. Last tackle now. Are we going to see a drop goal here? Neil Olding getting position for this drop goal. No, Barry Ledger. Attempts it, but it's a flapper, it goes to ground. Chris Anderson gathers, 
comes over to this right hand touch line well taken by Mark Bailey bundles him down Saints at the right end of the field now but with the wrong end of a score 20 points to 19 Halifax in possession bundle down midfield on the 25 Pendlebury for Halifax takes the acting in half position drives forward Halifax again, back to uh, fullback Smith to kick up field, slices it, Paul Lachlan stops it with his foot, drives forward, sees the gap, goes forward Lachlan, good strong runner, but uh, bundle down, Halifax, solid tacklers, midfield, Graham Littroff now, Saints have to spread it right, on to Andy Platt. Only a couple of minutes left of this game remaining, Neil Alden onto Graham Liptrot, loop movement, dummies Graham Liptrot, characteristic Liptrot dummy. Saints midfield, about uh, 35 yards from Halifax try line, and taking it right. Brett Clark onto Andy Platt. Looking for that gap, but uh, can't get through. The referee Bowman ruling the last of the six tackles. Kevin McCormick kick through. Tries to gather his own kick. Halifax player grabs it. Brought down centre field. Ten yards short of the halfway line. Halifax still in possession. Saints uh, with a one point deficit. Still Halifax ball. Well, uh, I think the Halifax crowd uh, just come alive now, now that they can uh, sense a possible victory. Prince George trying to get through. I think that's about the fourth tackle now. Halifax approaching. 25, still in possession. Last tackle now. And Halifax at 20 yards from Saints try line, bringing it right. Tulip gives an up and under. Taken by Paul Lachlan. Well, he must have been in field when he took that ball as the referee ruling it's a drop out from under the sticks whereas under the new ruling if he took it uh, behind this, his own try line it would have been a 25 tap out anyway Neil Olding kicks out, drop kicks out taken by Scott number 12 for Halifax all on full time now Saints at the wrong end of the field Halifax in possession, Chris Anderson taking it right, still attacking Halifax. Short ball there, but uh, he loses the ball, Saints scoop it up. Brett Clark, going on his own, Brett Clark. And Saints just uh, swing this ball out to uh, one of the fast wingmen and uh, get a try. Neil Olden, long ball onto Steve Alliwell. Coming inside, Steve Alliwell. And the bundle down just outside of Saints own 25. Graham Lipshot offside there. Uh, by Halifax at the play of the ball, the referee lets it go a penalty to Saints uh, quickly taken by Neil Holden, he can see the urgency finds touch right on the halfway line is this uh, last Saints, last chance Neil Holden on to Roy Haggerty up this right hand touch line, breaks the defence Roy Haggerty, feeds on to Neil Holden inside to Brett Clark, can he see the gap Brett Clark, gets it out well done by Brett Clark there, on to Sean Allen Saints midfield. Sean <laughs> being brought down. And Halifax run out winners by 20 points to 19. Well, unfortunately, that's uh, Saints' third defeat in a row after uh, looking comfortable at 19 points to 12, but uh, being beaten at 20 points to 19. <laughs>